What is your name and where are you from? I am Linda Russo. I'm from Joplin, Missouri. And I'm from Joplin, Missouri. And, that, and that's where we are right now, right? Yes, it is. And uh, so you told me that, uh, that your neighbor has uh, COVID right now. Yes. And you bring food over there and what? what? They asked me if I could bring stuff to them and shop for them. And so I just bring it and leave it on the front porch so they can have it. And uh, you haven't had it, but no. your grandkids? Well, my grandson has, been, has a friend that his family's had it and they've been quarantined a couple of times. Uh, but also I have a friend that he had an uncle and a cousin die of it. Wow. Um, has this year uh, so, are you afraid of getting it? I'm trusting in the Lord. My daughter wants me to get the shot, but I have not done it. And uh, like I said, I don't know if I will for sure or not, but I'm thankful that God keeps his hand upon me and has done so many miracles in my life. And I was just like when my son was born, he, I carried him 10 months. He broke my tailbone having him. Five weeks later, the first time the Lord said anything to me, he said, Linda, you need to go to the hospital. I didn't feel sick or anything. My appendix had been right in my son, in my stomach. I had gangrene. I would have been dead 56 years ago with God's mercy. God's mercy and grace. God has taken care of me in so many ways. And, uh, and you, um, so you're not afraid, but you might get the shots. And do you have any opinion on whether other people should get shots or? It has to be a personal thing with themselves. And uh, what do you think of the uh, pandemic? Uh, it's been about a year since it was declared a pandemic and uh, Missouri uh, quarantined people and um, the uh, asked people to quarantine and um, 530,000 people or more have been have uh, have died. Um, and what have you what do you think of the how many people die every day and the Lord's the one in control and he can, he's taking care of us and he said he never leaves us or forsakes us. And uh, so um, your approach to this covid is uh, you have some faith-based ideas about COVID, is that right? I am trusting in the Lord, and like I said, even when I, my daughter was six years old, hot caramel blew up in my face, took all the flesh off my face, fluids run out, lungs burnt and everything, and on the way to the hospital, my mother, my mother was taking me, and God said, you'll be all right, Linda. Well, I passed out, and it was shock. It wasn't pain, and when I woke up, he said he never leaves us or forsakes us. He was right there, and he says, you'll be all right, Linda, and as you can see, I had no plastic surgery or anything, and I'm very blessed. So um, you may be relying on, on that. I'm relying on the Lord Jesus Christ who died for us and to take and save us, free us from sin, and so we can make heaven our home. And any final uh, thoughts about COVID that uh, you want to relate to other people? I pray God's best for you, everyone, in Jesus' name, because God said he knows the thoughts he thinks towards us, that we're good not for people to give us an expected end, and he never leaves us or saves us. He's our good shepherd. And I also have these books that God lets me write, The Roads We Travel, and I couldn't figure out why he had me watching the cracks on the road, but there's mountains, valleys, long lines, short and curves like our lives. And then he gave me the writing. And then another book here, and they're in the prison ministries, is about people making choices on their life over hurt, loneliness, rejection, and all the stuff. Instead of who Jesus says we are, we're worth everything. He died for us. And I give him all the glory and the praise in Jesus' name. And uh, thank you very much from Joplin, Missouri. On the, what is it, the 18th or 19th? 19th, 19th yeah. of March. And thank you very much. And uh, God bless and keep you in your travels. Thank you. <laughs>